talent assessment firm Meritrack says that startups may hire over 3 lakh employees by 2020. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Startup Wednesday. Today it's all about hiring. Let's take a look at some of the innovative and trendy ways that startups are exploring to hire their employees. The startup space explodes in India, some of India's top talent that had gone overseas in search of better opportunities is now returning home, ditching jobs at Silicon Valley. We take a look at what's bringing these Indians back home and why startups are keen on hiring from the Bay Area. An IT Kanpur graduate, Tanmay was working with Hindustan Unilever as a production manager in one of its soap factories for over three years. He moved to the US in 2006, saying he knew he was cut out for better things. With an MBA from Stanford under his belt, he went on to work for Playdom Inc., a gaming startup there. But after having spent almost nine years working in the valley, the buzzing startup space back home caught his eye. You know, I'd spent almost uh, nine years in the valley and I was contemplating on what next, what is the next new thing to do. And I used to follow all the uh, India story, the, the you know the startup growth story, and uh, some of my very close friends were actually doing uh, those things. So I was always sort of in touch with what was happening, and it was very exciting. Tanmay decided to look for a job in India to be closer to his family and hoping to cash in on opportunities on offer in the country. That's when Tanmay got in touch with Dipinder Goel, the man behind Zomato. He says India is now smelling like Silicon Valley. People used to usually find things here as, as very uh, bucketed and you're just sort of siloed into things and that for, for um, very smart people that was not very attractive. So I think with the coming of startups, I think that is getting disrupted. Tanmay now heads the online ordering team at Zomato, hoping to put his valley experience to best use. And he isn't alone. IT rookie graduate Sachin had been hopping startups every couple of years in the valley hoping to learn something new every time. With over 14 years of Valley experience under his belt and his career took a different route. About four years ago when on a serendipity coffee shop, basically me and Mohit met, and I was thinking about moving into a B2C company. I was talking to a few of the startups in the Valley. And Mohit said, and me and Mohit go back a long time. So Mohit said, why don't you come and work with Inmobi? And we are looking at expanding our office in San Francisco. So why don't you come and have a chat with us and see what we can do? And here I am. He initially joined the mobile advertising platform in Moby's office in the valley and later, when given the opportunity to work out of Bangalore, Sachin says the decision wasn't too hard. He now is a senior vice president of technology at InMobi in Bangalore. If you look at uh, the people I work with, the people, the talent around you, the energy, the zeal, I don't see any difference. And uh, what I find is that the whole ecosystem in India, in Bangalore specifically, is growing through leaps and bounds of change. And I think this is very good for the Indian industry and that's why moving from there to here, if you ask me from people perspective, absolutely I don't think there was any change. Talent perspective, there was no change. Complexity of the problems and the technology we are solving for or the solutions we are building for which is applicable to the rest of the world, I don't see any difference between the two places. Many say India is now the land of opportunities and the country's top talent is now open to returning home for better options here. So it's a reverse brain drain on the cards. A recruit at a senior level can now earn anywhere between four to six million dollars. Several vice president positions and top technical positions, such as chief technology officers among them. All of these folks come back with that cross-cultural knowledge. And at the same time, technically also, they're able to take us to the next level. So it's partly the people skills that they come with, partly the technical skills, and they have the right attitude towards growth, which is really what we're looking at. And expats are making a beeline for India. Across sectors, their numbers are on the rise. As per HR services from Randstad India, the number of expats being hired in niche positions is going up each year with the figure for 2015, so far showing 30,000 to 35,000 of them working here. This number is set to increase by around 10 to 15% each year as Indian economy starts reviving and startups buzzing. But not everyone agrees. A bitter and very public spat between e-commerce giants Flipkart and Snapdeal on hiring from abroad raised many eyebrows. 
Flipkart founder Sachin Bansal took on Snapdeal's Rohit Bansal after he suggested that India does not have enough software engineering talent. But the hot debate over whether the best Indian talent is in Silicon Valley or in our cities isn't ending in a hurry. How can you say Indian talent is not good enough? The, uh, the, the, the top uh, technology companies on this planet are now being run by Indians who were born and did their initial education out of India. Next up, startups are finding innovative ways to speed up the hiring process and believe it or not, 12 minutes, they say, is all that it takes. My colleague Abhishek Singh has this report. 12 minutes flat, that's all that it takes. Faster than the 5,000 meters world record, it's recruitment that just got into the fast lane. A completely new way of hiring. Time is essence, right? None of us have time. So instead of doing a, a old style where you get a lot of people to your offices and then have a larger funnel and a shorter results, this is a fast way of screening people and that's of course is the reason we're going for this. With money from angel funds and individual big ticket investors pouring in from all parts of the world, many of these startups are expanding and scaling at an unheard of pace. Specially designed to meet the requirements of startups who are required to hire more and quickly as they expand to more cities and reach out to a new customer base. Speed hiring test is fast gaining popularity among startups of all sizes and nature. In a batch we hired 250 plus people, which is a large number. To hire 250 plus people without a speedy test, it takes a larger cycle. So the cycle has been the cycle time has been reduced and uh, we have more numbers coming in so i'm sure as time pass we can tell you more about it that you know how we are able to reach our hiring target with this so i think our accuracy is roughly around 70 to 80 percent born out of the need to hire fast and at the least cost possible such a test doesn't just ensure less time and resources spent on hiring it makes it easier for candidates as well now instead of queuing up outside offices for interviews they can take the test from home all they have to do is register online. A recent phenomena developed by CoCubes, an assessment and hiring platform which connects organizations with potential employees, speed hiring is fast catching the fancy of big ticket Indian startups like Ola, Snapdeal, Quicker, Oyo Rooms, among others for entry level employee hiring. It comes from both the problem faced by the candidate and the company. And if you walk into any company nowadays, you know, there'll be people sitting on the reception with a CV in hand. The reception is full and everybody is waiting to get an interview done. And these people, if you talk to them, they've traveled from multiple places. They've been waiting for two hours each. And then they will do a 15-minute interview and then, you know, probably get rejected and go home in a lot of cases because of where our employability is as a country, right? And so this was the problem being faced by the candidate. And on the company side, companies said, hey, I'm spending so many man hours, I'm growing fast, spending man hours to interview people. And these are first round interviews where I'm che checking basic things. So can you give me a test which can help me filter these guys? The speed test carries 50 multiple choice objective questions or MCQs, testing for cognitive abilities and includes questions on language and grammar, ratios, percentage and inductive reasoning. Research over a hundred years has actually proven that cognitive ability is the single best predictor of job success. Cognitive skills are basically, uh, you know, the more fundamental of the, these of these three because they are kind of an enabler for the other kind of skills, and they determine whether a candidate can actually, you know, learn and adapt to the situation. So that is what CAST is built for to check for the most basic fundamental. Uh, cognitive skills which are you know like ability to use language grammar analytical reasoning numerical skills a win-win situation for both startups which need to hire fast and without allocating too many resources and candidates as well as it spares them the effort of lining up outside company offices for job interviews Ashna a Sindhi College of Arts and Commerce Bangalore graduate has worked as a physical education specialist previously and had to appear in multiple interviews for her previous two jobs. She feels the speed hiring test helped her save both time and effort. It made the process quite simpler because you know normally how companies take, they make you go through the first round and they make you sit for a lot of time to get to know that you've got through or not. So what happened here is you go there and you attend the test which 
which is like 12 minutes. What happens? You don't get much time to think. Since the test is online and a candidate can appear from anywhere, what are the chances a candidate won't dupe the employers by cheating? It's a very technology-driven platform. So it's, uh, it's fast, it saves times, it's easy to do, any location, there's no location constraint. And most importantly, it has feature like catching a, a fraud if somebody's trying to cheat, there's a software which save it. Uh, and I think it's well calibrated. It's giving us the result what is required. Well, you heard that right. 12 minutes is all that it takes. It's time for us now to slip into a short break. On the other side, Brunali from Bangalore decodes a hackathon for us. Stay tuned.